Ethos Kipper, and I'm a whole bunch of things. So I'm an evangelist at Unity, but I'm also an indie game developer, and we're making the Rocky Horror Show Touch Me game. So uh, it's a rhythm action dance game where you use swiping on the screen to create dances, and then you can go and play other people's dances that they've created too. So it's all about collaboration, social experience, and also just thoroughly enjoying the liberating experience that is the Rocky Horror Show. Um, so how important is it to come to Insomnia 60 and be able to showcase uh, kind of products and, and games? Well, it's something I talk about a lot. So in my uh, my role at I'm, I'm an evangelist and I talk a lot to game industry people, developers and uh, publishers and advertising, all the people involved in the infrastructure of making games. But at the end of the day, we've got to focus on the people who love games. And where can you get a place where you can do experience everybody at all ages who adore the games that we produce? It's here. This is a perfect example of an amazing place where you can see your favorite YouTuber who will show off the joys and the passion and the experiences that are possible through playing and games in, a, in an amazing way. But also that you yourself can go and meet the indie developers making a next wave of, of, of independent talent, of something that's creative, that's smashing preconceptions of what games can be. And then you can go even further than that and you start meeting people who are genuinely involved in making that kind of sport experience, that, that amazing kind of here, it's like a peak way of looking at what games are. Not only are we playing it for fun, but there's some people out there who are so good, so talented, so amazingly physically uh, capable that they can actually compete at a professional level uh, in, a, in, a, in a game. And so the preconception of what games are completely changes by coming to this space. I have to ask, obviously, Rocky Horror Show, yeah. massive brand, the cult hit. Yeah. Uh, so, how did the, the idea of the, the Rocky Horror Show Touch Me game come about? Well, so it's a si relatively simple story. My business partner met Andy Layton, who is the original music producer on the original theatre show back in 1973. He's uh, worked really close to Richard Ryan through the whole period. The thing about Rocky Horror is it started in the theatre and it then became a film which has become obviously the epitome of cult movies. But if you think about the theatre show, that moment of experience, if you ever go, and seriously, if you have any interest at all in Rocky Horror, in fact, if you have any interest at all in musical theatre, just go, because it's a liberating and amazing experience. It's the joyful welcome you're going to get, and the way that people connect socially in that space. And they dress up, and they shout things at the actors, and the actors shout back, and it's an amazing social experience. So we were thinking, okay, how do you recreate that as a game? Because you don't want to just go and make an adventure game at home. Uh, we got to meet Ian Henry, who made the adventure game version of Rocky Horror back in the 80s. Uh, but we didn't want to do the same thing that he did. We wanted to create something brand new. We wanted to open out to new audiences. And there's a moment in the, in the show, the, the, the floor show, where some of the cast get dressed up and they would go and stand on stage and they perform acts. They perform dances. So why don't we make a dancing game? We can't compete with a Just Dance or a Let's Dance, all those kind of things. So what do we do that makes it unique? So we thought, well, let's make it tablet, let's make it touch screen, and let's make it all about social sharing of games. Sharing, I do a dance, you play it, we have a great time, and you get to rate whether I made a great dance or not. And to be honest, no one's done that yet. So we could do something that's new, that's fresh, that's exciting. We got backing, and then we went to Kickstarter. And after a quite hard journey on Kickstarter, we were successful. And we now are basically finishing off the project. We should be going to softballs relatively soon, in the next couple of months or so. And then we'll be able to gauge the right balancing and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully then you can go play it. But if you want to play it now, then obviously come and talk to us. Uh, you can find us at um, www.rockyhorrorgames.com and you can sign up and play the beta. Fantastic. I, I, I apologise for smiling for all that because I, I did notice when people were playing, you have some of the original songs in there as we well. We do, we do. Um, yeah. And for me, that just brings out so many memories from my exactly. childhood growing up and kind of yeah. knowing what the Rocky Horror Show was. So it's great to see that, that obviously still living on in, in such a new and inventive Oh, way. exactly. And this particular um, track that we're using, we're using the um, uh, the 25th anniversary Jason Donovan, yeah. uh, which, which Jason Donovan was the Frankenfurter in that performance, 
and um, uh, Nicholas uh, Parsons was the, uh, the chronologist yeah. in that performance and it happens to be Richard O'Brien's favourite version. So we're starting with that and hopefully over time as the game's successful we can bring in new versions. We found some amazing versions of the Rock and Horror Show uh, songs, ska versions, punk versions, um, you know, remix dance versions and there's so much possibility and so we just want to make sure that people enjoy it, create some great characters, create some great dances and have a great fun. Fantastic.